Okay, so my wife posted a picture of my healthy lasagna um, onto Facebook the other week and um, it's got about a hundred people asking for the recipe so I've decided to do a video because I'm too lazy to write it all down. So you're going to need uh, a cauliflower, you're going to need some zucchini, you're going to need some crushed tomatoes, you're going to need some salt, uh, some pepper, some paprika, uh, some oregano and some basil and some of this awesome stuff which is nutritional yeast seasoning that's the trick so there's no dairy um, there's no cheese or anything like that oh and you're going to need um, some onions some garlic some mushrooms and of course some um, low fat um, minced beef okay so the first thing we're going to do I'm going to be doing it today um, using a thermomix to prep the sauce um, so if you don't have a thermomix, you can kind of work it out, boil it, do whatever. Anywho, um, so the first thing we do is you're going to get your half a white onion and you're going to chop it up and you're going to put in three cloves of garlic and with a little bit of uh, olive oil, you're going to chuck that into your thermomix and you're going to put that on saute for about five minutes um, until the onion is nice and white and you get those lovely smells and flavours. After that, you're going to get three cups of cauliflower. Um, chop it up, doesn't have to be too fine. Put your three cups of cauliflower into your thermo mix and put in one cup of water with um, some stock. So I use chicken stock, uh, I generally use a chicken stock cube. And you're going to cook that for about 12 and a half minutes. While it's cooking, chuck in some seasonings, some paprika, some oregano. Uh, some basil, a uh, little bit of salt and pepper, um, and just season it to taste, to, to how you like it to taste. Um, and I put a tiny little bit of nutritional yeast as well in at that stage. Right, so when that's cooking, um, this time what I've done is I've actually, I've got three zucchinis. Um, and I've grated them. Last time I cut them thin for them to look a bit like pasta, um, but we all know it's not pasta, it's zucchini. So I found that it actually cooks a little bit better in the lasagna if you grate it. So grate three zucchinis, and then we're gonna use that when we put the lasagna together. When your Thermomix has finished cooking the um, cauliflower, as long as it's nice and soft, what you then do is turn your Thermomix slowly up to 10 to make sure you blend that really, really well and that'll create a really nice white sauce. Um, and that's what we use as our bechamel, as what you might be using um, in a normal lasagna. Okay, so next you're gonna get your mince and you're gonna pop it in the fry pan and you're gonna brown it in the fry pan. As it's starting to brown, you chuck the um, mushrooms in and you brown the mushrooms with the mince. And once that's done, you're gonna get your, your can of tomatoes and you're going to shove them in there and you're going to cook up that beautiful sauce. Um, sometimes I'll add a little bit more herbs and spices to that, a little bit, a bit more salt and pepper, um, whatever you like. Once that's done, you're going to get your tray or your, your cooking dish. You're going to put a little bit of zucchini down first. Then on top of the zucchini, you're going to put a little bit of your meat. Um, and then you're going to put a little bit of your sauce and then some more zucchini then some meat and then some sauce and then some more zucchini and you keep going until you've finished um, with all your ingredients layering it like you would layer a, a traditional lasagna when you finish that get a little bit more of this stuff and just sprinkle it on top and that'll give it a nice sort of a yellow yellowy cheesy look um, I tend to bake mine um, in a moderate oven for about 30 to 40 minutes and that gives you plenty of time for the zucchini to go nice and soft and for, it to, to, uh, for the sauce to develop that nice cheesy sort of flavour. So that's it. I'll pull it out of the oven when it's finished and we'll have a look. Um, I also created a really nice curry using the same sort of um, cauliflower base. So if you're interested in that, let us know and we'll, we'll do another video. Cheers, bye.